Hello everybody, welcome back to Autographs TTM. It's been a long time since I've put up a video, been busy, went on vacation, so uh, gotta get caught up here. Today we're gonna do sports, we've got football and baseball. I'm planning later in the week or maybe uh, next weekend to do a celebrity version. I have a lot of celebrity autographs I wanna share, lots of cool ones. Um, so we definitely, uh, if you wanna come back for that, uh, that's one of my favorite things to do. Before we get going, we're just going to do a couple of quick reminders here. Don't forget to follow me on Autographs TTM Bob. Don't forget to check out my Etsy store. <clears throat> Lots of cool t-shirts and mugs and things like that. Some TTM stuff. Uh, the page is linked in the description below. There's some examples of shirts I've got and the TTM mug. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of those videos, especially that, uh, that celebrity one next week. I think you'll like that. So we'll kick it off with a football player. It's James Laurinaitis. Uh, that's an awesome looking card and the blue came out really good. James was born December 3rd, 1986 in Wayzata, Minnesota. He's 37 years old, if I knew how to spell Minnesota. He was selected by the St. Louis Rams in the second round of the 20, 2009 draft. He played with the Rams and the Saints between 2009 and 2016. 80, 869 tackles, 16 and a half sacks, 10 interceptions, 35 pass deflections, uh, and he actually coached for Notre Dame in 2002 and is now the linebackers coach with his alma mater, uh, Hoyle State. And that return came back in 10, uh, eight days, so that was a really quick return, just a little over a week. We're going to stay with football. We've got Chad Henney. He was born in West Reading, Pennsylvania on July 2nd, 1995, so it's 37. He was drafted by the Dolphins in the second round of the 2008 draft. He played for Miami, Jacksonville, and is currently playing for Kansas City. Today's actually Super Bowl Sunday when I'm recording this. Uh, so hopefully he's uh, anticipating getting another Super Bowl win uh, this afternoon. Final stats, obviously, to date, 61 touchdowns against 63 interceptions, 1,200 pass completions, 13,290 yards. Uh, he's played 14 years in the NFL and is a Super Bowl champion once already. Obviously, like I said, hoping for another one today. 14 years as a quarterback in the NFL is amazing. Um, so, Chad, congratulations on a long career and it's not done yet. So that return came back in 24 days, so just about three weeks. So that's pretty good who's, for somebody who's busy practicing for the Super Bowl. Patrick Ramsey is up next. So Patrick... Um, was a quarterback and he was born on February 14, 1979 in Ruston, Louisiana. He's 43 years old. He was drafted by the Redskins in the first round of the 2002 draft. Uh, he played for, well, I'll explain in a second, played for Washington, New York, Jets, Denver, Tennessee, Detroit, New Orleans, Jacksonville, Miami, and Minnesota. Technically didn't play for all those teams. I'll explain in just a second here. So final stats for Patrick. 35 touchdowns against 30 interceptions, 5,930 yards, passing yards. He ended up with a passer rating of 74.9. Patrick signed with the Saints, Jaguars, Dolphins, and Vikings in 2010. It was released by each team, so he never played for any of those teams. So a little bit of a lie up there on who he played for, um, but he signed contracts with them. He came back in 49 days. Next up is baseball, one of the best uh, to ever play the game. He was born on October 3rd, 1954 in Oakland, California, so he's 68. He was drafted by the Indians in the third round of the 1972 draft, so it's been 51 years since he was drafted. He debuted on April 12th, 1975. He played with the Indians, Red Sox, Cubs, Athletics, and Cardinals between 75 and 98, so very long career. Some final stats, 191 and 171. 2,401 strikeouts, 390 saves, a three and a half ERA. He had a no hitter in May 30th, 1977. He also was a Cy Young Award winner in 1992. He was selected to the Hall of Fame in 2004 uh, with a vote total of 83.2, and that was his first year of eligibility. So just amazing. His return came back in 38 days, and I did pay his, I believe it was a $10 fee. So I love this card. I always hoped I'd be able to get it signed. So it looks great with the blue Sharpie. Staying with bar, uh, baseball, we'll go over to Darwin Barney. So Darwin was born on November 8th, 1985. So he's 37 years of age. 
He was drafted uh, by the Cubs as the 127th pick in the 2007 draft. He played with the Cubs, Dodgers, and Blue Jays. He debuted with the Cubs on August 12, 2010. Some final stats for Darwin. Uh, he batted 246 with 31 home runs, 201 RBI, and he was a Gold Glove winner in 2012, so a good defensive player as well. That return came back in 28 days. Richard Haldago is up next. He was born on June 28, 1975 in Caracas, Venezuela. He's 47 years of age. He was signed by the Astros as a 16-year-old, so got his career going really early. He played for the Astros, Mets, and Rangers between 1997 and 2005. He debuted on September 1st, 1997. Some final stats for Richard. 269 batting average, 171 home runs, 560 RBI. He actually signed toward the end of his MLB career with the Independent League Long Island Ducks. That was in 2007. Uh, he never actually played for them. Uh, he decided to retire prior to the start of the season. Jumping over here to Olympics, we've got Dan Jansen, a speed skater. He was born on June 17, 1965 in West Allis, Wisconsin, so he's 57 years of age. He turned pro in 82 and retired in 1994. Some medal count totals here for Dan. He won a gold medal at the 1994 Lillehammer Games. Some World Sprint Championship medals as well. In 1985, he won a bronze. I can't say the name of that location. In 1986, can't say the name of that location either, but he won a silver. Uh, he won a 1988 gold in West Allis, which is actually his hometown. He won a silver in 92 in Oslo. In Calgary, he won in 94, won a gold as well. Uh, during his career, Dan set eight world records in speed skating. So an amazing career, came back in 25 days. Uh, the other individual on that photograph is Bonnie Blair, the female speed skater. And uh, probably going to send this off and see if I can't get her autograph as well. So that would be a nice piece. We'll end here with an announcer, Vern Lundquist. I'm sure you would recognize Vern Lundquist's voice. He was born July 17, 1940 in Duluth, Minnesota. So he's 82 years of age. His broadcasting career actually started as a sports anchor for WFAA in Dallas and also as the radio voice of the Cowboys. Some honors for Vern. He is in the Sun Bowl Hall of Fame for calling the Sun Bowl football game. He was a Texas sportscaster of the year from 1977 to 1983. So obviously really good at what he did if you're winning the award that many consecutive years. He has a nickname of the Golden Throat, and his uh, truest achievement of his lifetime, what he calls his truest achievement of his lifetime, uh, he delivered a commencement address at Hampton Sydney College, uh, and then he, like he said, that uh, that was one of the honors of his, his lifetime. So that's awesome for Vern in 18 days. All right, we're sending out to football this week. So we've got Chad Greenway, Travis Frederick, and Zach Miller. Jacob Tam, Bryce Brown, and Vance McDonald. So looking forward to getting those out. So hopefully you'll see them on the next uh, video in a couple of weeks. Something for my collection I always like to share. I have a lot of autographs. I think it's cool to see other people's collections and the unique, unique items they have. So if you've got something you want to share, go ahead and drop a photograph down in the comments. I'd love to see it. I'm sure folks watching the video would love to see it. Today we've got an autograph from Brooks Robinson pretty old, probably about 35, maybe 40 years old. Um, I got it when I was younger. You can see the autographs fading a little bit, unfortunately. I know he's a pretty good TTM signer, was a pretty good TTM signer. What I've seen recently is he's not doing well health-wise, so he stopped. Um, but hopefully you got him already. What a great, uh, what a great baseball player and Hall of Famer. Yeah, I identified the autograph from last week. I think somebody put it in the comments. Uh, it was Devontae Adams, uh, Green Bay. He spent most of his career at Green Bay, so that's uh, I think that's kind of a cool looking signature. Here's the one for next week. I uh, don't normally do religious figures, but I thought this was kind of a funky looking autograph. So if you know what it is, go ahead and drop it down in the comments, and I'll reveal that next week. So you got to come back for that video again. All right. One more push, autographs, TTM Bob. Don't forget to follow me. Uh, check out that store that I had mentioned earlier, the laughwithdod.etsy. 
make sure that you are liking and subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss that celebrity video coming next week i really appreciate everybody watching hopefully your mailbox will stay full and your mail carrier will think you're crazy all right everybody have a good week thanks for watching